Perhaps no other Sowetan has captured quite so many extraordinary events on film as the photographer Elf Komalo. His remarkable career spans five decades. In this time, he has witnessed the criminalization of people on the grounds of their race, as well as the birth of a vibrant democracy. Elf Kamalo's work is a testament to the resilience of Sowetans. This is uh, Keza Mataun when he was at his best. Below there, you see the big man. Oh, the mood was the mood was glorious when when I shot that picture. Uh, behind Mandela, it's Ruth Fest. She was um, a very proud communist. But uh, it was really a great day for for them in that. That's when the treason trial ended. I was close to all all of these people. Uh, I I used to do pictures for Ruth Fest. And above that, I was, I'd been close to Mandela from, from the 50s. When introducing me, he would say, uh, this is my colleague, Alf Kumar. I was about 20. I uh, actually saved money to buy a camera. I wanted a decent camera. And finally I managed to buy one. It was a two and a quarter square named Beauty Flex. Indeed, it was a beauty. It got me great shots. Golden City Post approached me for a, for a job. They offered me 45 pounds a month. It was actually very good money because my editors were getting 50 pounds. Well, the people were earning in the mines one pound 10 a month. And I was known as the uh, man about town, the best dressed man in the country. Kamala photographed the vibrant social and political scene in Soweto. I shot pictures as things were happening. When freelancing, I did a lot of stories that were not done by other people. On the day they were killed, in the middle of the night, I wanted to, to wish I was dreaming. The Shabu massacre was a turning point in South Africa's politics. When they killed 69 people in a short space of time with machine guns, I remember seeing women carrying coffins. And in, in tears, uh, the people who were killed were, were men, women, and children. Photography has been very, very important to, to, to capture whatever is happening. It's actually photography that helped the outside world to know that things were bad here. When it was just words, the outside world did not believe until they saw pictures. A photograph has a greater image, a greater memory as well. In centuries to come, those who will be there will be talking about these pictures. <laughs>